Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Vue.js filter to apply it at the currency. We are going to convert cent to dollar. Also, we will learn about computed property in Vue.js. We have already discussed about this one, but I will look in details of more example of where you can use them. So let's check out the filters in Vue.js. What is filter? Filter is basically an extension to a text or an object or whatever you want, and it can modify your uh, let's say your variable think of message if a message is a variable and you are going to capitalize it you can use Vue.js filter to capitalize it these are custom uh, filters filters are the same in Shopify also we have already discussed about this one the Shopify also has discussed and using the pipe you can append it to the message and it will capitalize the message for you now capitalize is a custom Vue.js filter and this is how you can create this one so let's just start dive deep into the code and we will apply it to our current to the price for our product here for example the price is showing in cent so i'm going to convert this in in dollar and i'm using view filter so if i come to my code i have already done the code behind the scene and i will show you how i did it so first of all in the source directory in the full i create a folder called filters where i store all my filters maybe in the future you have the theme so you are adding more filters so you can store all of them in the filters directory and i call it money so if i open the money.js here here is how you can use it view.filter it is global everything is global so if you define it once you can use it anywhere you want if you are using view.filter you can give it a name the second parameter is a function so this function can be whatever you want you can you this is an anonymous function you don't have to give it a name so it will accept two value the first value you don't pass it to this one the first value is whatever uh value you apply it to for example if it is message then the message will be the first value so the second value is optional for me it is the sign and if user define it let's say that is the dollar sign or pound sign or euro or whatever currency they have but for me if the user define it so cool if not use the dollar sign so most of the shop might be in dollar so we again check if the value exists or not if it does not exist return zero if it exists here is how you do this one divided by 100 so it will make the dollar and then we are going to fix it into two values so it will add the extension of two points to that so if i come here let's check it out now here is the price in the mini card so if you have a price just use the pipe and money make sure you register your your filter so if i come to my app.js as you can see i have a section here for the Vue.js filters and here is how I, I can import this one make sure you use require you don't use import because when you use require it will add the code here as the same as you if you are writing the code here so that's why it has access to view in that file we didn't import any view like view we didn't import Vue.js here and still we have access to this one the reason is because we are using require here so now if i come to my code and i will open the card page here let's say the card that liquid that we have a template here and i up apply it to the prices here for example if i come to my product this is the original price right so let's apply this one to the original price we can use money here as you can see this is a view one so it will it should be the same same as shopify so that's why i use money otherwise you can call it anything you want so now if i refresh my page it should change this value but it haven't changed them yet so maybe i'm not running the yeah team watch is working fine here we have applied them okay here is the, no that is not like the actual price the actual price is here this price apply if the product is on sale so this is the actual price so i have to read the money here and this is the line price line price is the total one so i will show you how you can use the total one using computer property to calculate this one so if i refresh it for now as you can see it is showing 160 dollar which is fine with the zero the, with the two point number here this is fine for now now let's check out if you can you can apply it to the line price also but our line price has an issue here i have already applied this one to mini cards so make sure you check out this one also this is the total price i can apply it to total price too so let's give it a try and i'll show you what is the issue now now you can see money here 
it is fine it should upload this one and we should refresh the page and it should one more time let's see yes everything is fine yeah it works just fine now it looks fine and it is the dollar value but if I'm increasing this one and I update the card it is not changing here the reason is because it is coming from uh, Shopify and it is not reactive so it is not reactive that's why it is not changing so what I'm going to do is one I'm going to use computer property to grab this value so computer properties can be based on two other values so I'm going to multiply the price with the quantity and display it here how about that that is what I want so I will come to the quote here and now instead of writing the total price as this one I will just write a, let's say a function or whatever you can call it I'm going to call it total price here now whatever you can call it as I said now since this is in the cart page I'm going to open the cart template also so we will open the component here and here is the cart form and if I come here we have one computer property called cart and the next one is total price to be honest I feel a little bad if I'm not doing most of the work if I do it behind the scene and show you just the result you will not learn something so that's why I'm doing it here so this is a computer property and it is going to accept the price the the item here so what I'm going to say is it should accept the item and we will grab the uh, price from the item and we'll multiply it so we'll return item dot what was the quantity and the price here in our file so if I come here as you can see we have the price here so it should be item dot price coming to our code it should be more we should multiply that one by the quantity so it should be item dot quantity that's it and if I save it for now now I will come to the cart template when we use this one we can pass our item to this one I will pass the item it looks like a function but we can apply the money filter to this also so now if I save it everything looks fine let's come to our co our result and let's check out if it is working or not if I refresh it you will get an error so I will inspect element and see what is the error so the error said the total price is not defined so what is the reason it is not working this is why uh, you have to understand if it is not working because the total price is not a function it is a computer property you have to understand like computer property is not a function and it does not accept a parameter the only place you can use computer property is like the total price in the card you have this total price never changes for example if I come to view and I will check out the card here if you open the card object and scroll down there is something called total price that shows in the card for this one you can use computer property and this computer property can take the items from your objects it should find all the uh, let's say the amount of like quantity of all your items plus all of them and then multiply it by this one this is working fine if you are using on that instance since we are using it like a function it is not going to work and it threw you an error in this instance it is a good idea to use a function instead of computer property that's why this is very important sometimes you don't know the difference between computer property and function you use it and you get some error if you put it here it should work just fine now if I come here refresh the page I hope it upload everything so let's check out yes it works just fine this is the value here that you can see now if I increase this one check it out it is updating instantly the total price for me here still the same thing here I know we don't have that much in stock but it is working just fine as we expect so I hope it has been informative and this is all about computer property functions and how you can use this one for this one I will do it behind the scene and you can check out the code on github again this is how you can use computer property and functions so you have to understand them also you can check out more about computer properties and functions in the documentation of Vue.js they have a very clear example of computer properties versus methods so I hope it has been informative 
Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.